I am Ed, and this is part of uh, this is the candy cane I built for my light show. I've had a few people asking about uh, about how it's put together and everything, so I figured I might as well uh, try to make a little video and kind of show how it's put together and how it's built, and uh, uh, put links below and uh, make it accessible for other people to build something very similar. So at the core of this is everything is basically uh, PEX tube, PEX uh, tubing from uh, from the local hardware store. And then if you look uh, closely, you can see I'm using uh, pixel strips uh, inside the actual tube. And so um, just link the tube. This just goes, just goes up right here. And then I basically found these uh, these neat little couplers right here. And so um, they're just three quarter inch um, PEX couplers. Um, they had a small little um, groove on one side. So basically I just took an exact blade and just basically kind of, uh, kind of just chisel them away so that way they basically turn into a little coupler they're, they don't they're not very good for like making like, like an actual pipe seal if you're using a trying to make a pipe seal with this type of tubing you usually have little alligator uh, brackets on there go on the inside but uh, that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm just doing this for for light diffuser that's all I'm using this for so basically just use this to hold this together to, uh, to join these pieces I'm using a five foot tube starting from the bottom and then coming up as far as these brackets are concerned the way that these are designed this is a 3D printed uh, bracket. Uh, now I measured this tube for uh, for the four inch tube. This is actually three and a half inch, so I actually messed up the uh, on the actual measuring. But it's kind of cool because I, I was actually able to uh, kind of adjust and slide up and down a little bit. And then what I did was on on uh, part of this, it's a little hard to see, but uh, I can kind of see on one of these. Uh, maybe right here, maybe there. So what I did was, if I was to pop this out off here, there's actually a, a screw hole underneath this as well. So you can actually bur bury a, a screw down inside here. So like that, that's basically how I suspended this uh, this whole module right here. So basically, it's, it's suspended on the uh, on the pole, and then the rest of it just kind of just free floats and just sits here. And then as far as controlling it all, I have this little box right here. I spray painted it black so it kind of uh, people don't really notice it. And then basically, I just have a uh, a little Raspberry Pi. Uh, this goes. This is running a Falcon Pi player, and then just is, is just controlling a standard string of pixels. The pixel uh, line comes up here to the front. And then what I did from here is I just run the line up, and then basically I just zigged. So it goes in from here. It just goes up, turns around, jumps over to the next one, comes back down, and just zigzags. Uh, up and down, and then on the actual model for X lights, which is the software that I use for this, um, is I actually uh, correct for that. So that way, what I can do is I can actually uh, draw uh, effects on this, and I don't have to compensate for the for the zigzag at all uh, because it's, it's built like that in the in the mo actual model um, itself. So the one thing to note on this when designing or trying to put, put together something like this, um, use the 45 degree angles on the tubes up here. Uh, and then I use white, um, made sure that this, everything stayed white. My wife wanted to put a, a, a cute bow and everything like that, but it was gonna interfere with the, uh, with the light distribution uh, of the actual uh, lights coming from this. So I wanted to make the effect to make sure that the uh, audience can see all of the effects uh, that I'm basically pushing from um, from the controller onto the uh, pixels themselves. So um, because of the, the length and because of the, the way the curve is, it's not all a consistent length on the actual pixels. So I actually had to make some, uh, make some minor tweaks and figure out uh, how long each strand was by doing some tests and troubleshooting and everything. And I'll, uh, I'll show you the, uh, what it looks like on the actual control side. Okay, so this is my program uh, x lights that I'm using. And so looking over here, here's basically a little preview window uh, so I can see what the, uh, the effects of what it's going to look like on, the, on my display on the actual candy cane itself. I can't look at it in the actual curve uh, unless I redraw this. It makes it a little difficult to kind of understand what it's doing. But uh, looking over here at the side, I have everything grouped together and basically have all eight se uh, sections here. And then basically you know, looking at, at each one. So uh, looking at the actual pixel counts. So basically you can see that the... Uh, first one is 53, sorry, 51, 53, then it goes 56, 60. So you can see that the that the pixel uh, counts kind of change, and you also see that the uh, the starting point of each one also uh, changes. That's how I'm able to do the uh, basically the flipping, um, zigzagging uh, within that. So then basically when I switch over and go to an actual sequence.
So that's basically what it looks like when I when I go to preview uh, my uh, candy cane. So that's how the uh, the candy cane for uh, for our light show is put together. So um, I'll go ahead and make the links available down below. So if you, uh, if you have a 3D printer, you can go ahead and 3D print those uh, those particular brackets, or reach out to a friend and have them uh, 3D print the other uh, brackets for you. Uh, but again, I'm using a three quarter inch uh, PEX tubing, uh, and then the, that bracket is designed to hold um, eight. Um, PEX tubes. I'm using uh, five foot lengths on the bottom and then uh, I happen to have a uh, basically a spool um, on the top and I just cut its length um, and, but you can also use another five foot to one then just bend it. But uh, uh, if, if you, this was uh, helpful at all go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, I have lots of other uh, videos and everything. Uh, I do quartet sequencing as well so uh, thanks for watching.